What's up guys? Welcome back to Inside Out Precision. Um, today we're going to be talking about kind of a simple thing, but something I deal with a lot this time of year. Um, so here in Oregon, season opens this Saturday. I'm filming this on a Thursday night. Um, so we're setting up a ton of bows and, you know, lots of last minute stuff. Guys who just pull their bow out, you know, they need new strings, new arrows. And, uh, you know, after we tune everybody up, we usually walk out to the range with them and at least help them get uh, their 20 yard pin sighted in. Um, and I can't tell you how many times uh, guys, you know, we get them dialed in, they're hitting right in the middle at 20, they go home, they pull their bow out, you know, they step out in the backyard and they shoot. And a half hour later, they're back in the shop saying, hey, like when I got home, I started shooting and everything was like three inches left or three inches right. Like I think, you know, I think my rest got bumped or my sight got moved or, you know, my bow's out of tune all of a sudden. And surprisingly, it's probably something you would never think of. Um, it has nothing to do with your bow coming out of tune or at least usually doesn't. Um, it actually is all in the peep sight. So what I mean by that is if you've ever shot in an indoor range, especially a fairly poorly lit indoor range, which is probably more common than not, um, your peep sight is not very well defined. Meaning, you know, when I'm looking through it, the edge of the aperture that I'm looking through is not very crisp. I don't wanna say it's like fuzzy, but it's pretty dull. It's not very well defined. You know, your pins aren't real bright. Um, everything is just kind of dulled down indoors. Uh, conversely, when I get outside, my peep sight appears extremely well defined. Um, it's really crisp, you know, round edge. Um, and what's happening is that when you're indoors, especially, you know, if you're having a newer shooter, uh, you, you're not centering your front sight in your peep sight the same as you are when you're outdoors. When you're outdoor and you have that really nice defined aperture, it's much easier to tell if your housing is a little bit off one direction or the other. And because of that, you know, if my eye is just a millimeter one direction or the other, you know, lined up differently behind that peep sight, it's gonna affect my, my left, right, or could be up, down, you know, my elevation or my windage point of impact. Um, so I actually noticed this um, a long time ago, you know, the, the peep sights we install, we use radical peeps and they're, they're just like every other peep sight you've seen. You know, it's a little metal peep sight. You can get different aperture sizes, but they're, you know, they're maybe a, an eighth, eighth of an inch thick. And it's just a round little hole. Um, I noticed that, you know, I would shoot at the bow rack a lot and I'd be right on and then I'd go outside and I'd still be shooting really good groups, but they'd all be like, like two to three inches to the right at 20 yards and then get progressively further right, obviously, the further I went out. Um, so I would just move my peep or move my sight over till I was back in the middle, thinking that you know maybe I was just doing something differently. And then when I'd go shoot back inside again, everything would be to the left all of a sudden. And I couldn't figure out why that was until I started talking to some you know some tournament shooters, and they go, oh yeah, that's just you know basically the glare in your peep sight. Um, you know the way that I'm perceiving that peep sight just changes ever so slightly indoors to outdoors. Now, I'm not saying this is true for everybody. Some people have no issue with this. You know, usually an experienced shooter, that anchor is going to be identical every time. Um, you know, you, you might not see any difference here. But probably one out of ten guys, or probably more than that, probably three or four out of ten guys that we set up always come back in and say, hey, I had to move my sight outside. Like, you think everything's cool, or do I need to, you know, recheck my tune? And like I said, usually it has nothing to do with, with the tune of the bow. It's just because you have kind of, poorly defined, uh, a poorly defined peep sight inside versus outside and you end up centering your sight probably a little better outside than you did inside. Um, so that's, that's usually the catalyst for this. Now, there are a couple things that you can do to actually combat this and it's in the peep sight itself. So um, this is actually the Raptor peep from Hamsky makes this. Um, and what's different about this side is, or peep side is you notice it's, it's barreled here. Like how a normal peep sight would only be, there wouldn't be these little edges to it. It would just be kind of about as wide as that centerpiece. And actually on the inside, and I don't know if we'll really be able to see this on camera, but there's little, there's little baffles on the inside, both front and back, working their way towards the center where the actual aperture is. And what that does is it, it it basically filters or refracts that light much more consistently. So not only indoors to outdoors, but different lighting conditions outdoors. So whether it's overcast or I've got sun in my face 
where the sun is behind me shining onto my peep sight, I don't get that glare. Um, if you've ever seen, you know, any like televised archery shoots, if you've ever been to any of these big 3D shoots where, you know, a lot of the pros are shooting, you'll notice that it'll be, you know, a 90 degree day in July and all these guys are carrying around umbrellas. And it, it's not because they're afraid it's going to rain. Um, they use that so that if they have, you know, a target where maybe they got a dark target back in the shade and they're, they're standing out in the sun, they'll have somebody actually pop that umbrella up and shade you know, definitely their head and their, their peep and usually try to get the scope in there as well. And the reason for that is again, they just want that consistent lighting. It will actually change your point of impact if I have glare coming through that peep. Um, it kind of feels like, almost like somebody's shining a light in your eye, or not a light, but like, have you ever had a, oh, you know, like a, a watch, like somebody's glare off of somebody's watch kind of hits you in the eye and it's not like blinding or anything, it just, it almost, it just feels like you got a little fuzz or it's kind of just this cloudiness. Um, that can actually happen with a standard peep sight. Like I'm thinking of, again, like the Radical uh, brand peeps. Um, and it will totally change your point of impact. In fact, um, Paige Pierce, who if you're not familiar with her, she's one of the most prolific uh, women professional archers or just professional archers in general. Um, and we were at a, uh, I think it was the Gator Cup two years ago and all the you know, the men and women shot in the morning. And so when we started, the sun was, you know, 8 a.m., the sun was fairly low. And it was kind of coming across and over over our head at this direction. And it was a really calm day. There wasn't a lot of wind. Um, people were putting up really high scores. And she actually, by the time we got done shooting, which was about noon, and the sun was right overhead, she had actually done like one full rotation on her, her windage knob. She noticed that as she was shooting, you know, every two, three rounds, all of a sudden her group would start dr drifting to the left by you know an inch and a half, two inches. Now, that was due to the glare, like the, the, the change of the angle, basically of the light coming through her peep was changing you know the way she was perceiving the peep, thus changing her point of impact. Now, it takes a pretty darn good shooter to say, oh, okay, that group wasn't you know two inches left at 55 yards because <laughs> my, my peep sight is, you know, the light through my peep is being refracted differently, but uh, a shooter of her caliber, you know, she knows when that arrow should land behind the pin. And in a game where one or two points can mean the difference between, you know, being on the podium and packing your bags and going home, um, you know, if she shoots two groups, two rounds, and, you know, a majority of the arrows are just hanging, you know, a nine o'clock, 10, just but well grouped, you know, she's, she knows those were good shots. She's gonna move her sight over. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting, you know, she said, man, the sunlight, you know, it's just totally changing my groups. And, and I've seen that before, you know, and it's not a drastic change. It's not like it's going to move at 10 inches, but it's just a little bit here and there. So, um, this, this peep sight from Hamsky here really keeps that light consistent coming through, through the peep. So whether it's, you know, really bright or overcast or kind of, you know, maybe you got a partly cloudy day and sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's overcast. Um, since using this, I have not had any issues with shooting indoors to outdoors. My peep sight looks really clear and defined in both scenarios. So if you're, if you've experienced this issue or, you know, you, you have in the past or you're experiencing it currently, you know, everybody's getting ready for hunting season right now. Um, just sight in outdoors, because if you're hunting, obviously you're going to be shooting outside. There's no need to sight in inside and then, you know, just bang your head against the wall thinking something's wrong with your bow. Just sight in so that you're hitting on outside and you should be good to go. Um, so anyway, I know it's kind of a funky little thing, but the sport never ceases to amaze me how the slightest, most minor change can make a huge difference in, in your groups and, uh, and your point of impact. So hopefully that helps you out if you're struggling with this. Uh, if not, great. Keep shooting indoors and outdoors and hit the same spot. I love it. Um, you know, on that note, I know like I said, Oregon opens up for both season this weekend. I'm pretty sure by next weekend, pretty much every Western state will be open. Uh, so for all you getting out there and chasing elk and deer and whatever you are, whatever your game may be, uh, good hunting to you. Stay safe. Come back in one piece. And I'll see you right here next week as usual. All right, guys. Keep them in the middle. I'll see you on the range.